Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about one of my daily essentials and especially now it's getting warm here. Although they said when I started into skincare, whole year round you, uh, UV or like SPF, the sunscreen are really important for your uh, skincare. So uh, um, it's, I'm re it's a bit weird now because this is my first time talking to a camera with my face in a long while because I, as you noticed, I didn't post a lot of uh, videos recently because I work full time and I have no time, almost no time to film and to get ready and things like that for to film a video but i decided to start doing it again because um yeah uh, now i'm getting used to the working full time and i try my best that during my free day at least i film one or two videos and i will try to edit it on sundays and things and on sundays or every time i have free time if i have the the strength and the energy to do it because it's really tiring to work full time i noticed so so i'm i'm not i i am not used to talking to a camera anymore so hopefully this would look uh, this video will be fine and will go well so yeah so i already finished my bottle or like a tube of this particular um sunscreen and when there was a promotion i always buy this in promotion like 21 percent off in isipari so i decided to repurchase it because uh, i used to only use asian sunscreens like korean brands but when the tax or the laws here in belgium change with it comes to international shipping so every time i order now for outside europe I get taxed. So I decided to just look around which is available here and easy for me to purchase because sunscreens, yeah, I think uh, because if I order outside Europe, it will take weeks. So now I try to have a backup like this is ready already for me in case this tube was done. I was trying to save it because I wanted to film this video that it was still like brand new so I can see you there like unboxing and things like that. So this is the Chanel UV Essential Protection Global Complete protection uv protection antioxidants spf 50 uva so that was a long name and i think i discovered it because i wanted to try something that is accessible here and i saw that chanel was making one so or they have one so i ordered it and i fell in love with it so the box i will show you this is the how the box look, box looks like it's just like a plain white box and with all the chanel details you know there you really feel like it's a luxury brand and the tube is also just a simple white tube words are in black and also they have their chanel logo on the cup with a silver uh, detail and it's just really a small tube i was shocked when i got it because I didn't expect it was too small because this uh, this cost I think 55 euro when it's not on promotion so I was like what <laughs> and I'm used to in Asia especially the Japanese brand they really have like a huge uh, sunscreen bottles I did use um, I I did use and love the Japanese I forgot the Biore I think I will show you a picture which was the one I was always using and repurchasing and I did love the um, what was that the Korean brand the, um, I think thank you I think that thank you farmer so that I did love I might try to compare all my sunscreens and so you have an idea how they feel and how they are to me I also did try the Estee Lauder one I might um, review it soon also because I think it will be helpful if you're um, you also want to try that one so yeah let's go to the review so I will show you how my face uh, or how I applied it on my bare face or after like my skincare and things like that so I noticed when applying it it really was cooling especially now it's warm today I felt like it was really cooling it's also brightening and it's smoothing I noticed like if I compare it to the 
other side that I didn't apply the sunscreen, it, uh, the side that has sunscreen looks better, brighter, and yeah, I feel like it looks smoother. So I, I saw the difference. At first, I didn't like the formula of this because I felt like it's like the common um, French brand pharmacy kind of sunscreen that's really thick and there's like a distinctive um, distinctive scent to it that I didn't like. But after I got used to it, and I was using it every day. I, it's not bothering me at all. I might try to smell it again. Ah, it's not really strong, but it has like almost like you know the sunscreen, like you know the sunscreen um, lotion that you put on your body. That, that reminds me of, and because I'm so used with Korean sunscreen formula that they are really like almost like serum skincare type. That's why I felt like this is quite thick for me and it's really a stark white but it it will not leave like you know like weird white spots on your face it's just like the first application I was I will show you um, on my hand like it's really white but when you blend it it starts to um, blend seamlessly on the skin but I see like the difference like it's really brightening that's what I, I notice about this which is really good if you like that kind if you want your face to be a bit brightened and I feel like if it brightens your face or your skin it's um, your face looks much if you have like dark spots and yeah it looks like your skin looks dull like you know not uh, how you call it like doesn't look so perked up or uh, yeah some days I feel like my face looks so dull so this would help me uh, make it feel like I'm I had rest I am not I don't look tired and things like that so that was my application and also with makeup what I also like about this it it dries quite fast and it's not sticky and also um, yeah it just really uh, soothing on the skin almost like cooling and things uh, uh, as what I noticed today and also, yeah, it's just quick. You don't need to wait before you put your makeup on. Maybe you wait a bit for a few seconds, but I feel like I can apply it after a minute or so, or even less. And I noticed like it picks, it's really a good base for your makeup. You don't need um, a primer. I did, I will show you uh, what I normally do, like my makeup routine for work. And I use powder and it really grabs good the powder. And yeah, I feel like, um, my makeup also stays put really good with this i've been using this every time and it, yeah i know that my makeup would look good and will stay put so but i have a very dry skin so i'm not sure how it would be with um oily skin but with my dry skin it works really fine it's not too much not too oily not too you know not too greasy and things like it's just like a really soothing and a moisturizing kind of formula and I also noticed that if foundation you're gonna use or like cream products, I think cream products, I think this would work as well. It will not affect the formula of your makeup. Yeah, it's just a good formula or like a good base for your makeup. So I highly recommend this sunscreen. So I think this tube lasted me for probably four months, if I'm not mistaken. So it does um, last long. Normally I try to apply maybe two pumps of it all over my face and also I never forget my neck because neck is also important and if you're wearing like summertime like sleeveless or like you know spaghetti straps, tube tops on summer, uh, best you apply also in your decollete or like your you know this part of your body so it will also protect you. But normally, yeah, especially now, I always include my neck. Always include your neck. So for the definition, step up your game with complete protection beyond shielding skin from all harmful UV rays. Short and long UVA, UVB indoor lighting. UV essential combines two natural and powerful ingredients, live plant PFA and desert yeast extract to intensify skin's all-round daily defense against pollution external stresses and maintaining optimal hydration levels an exceptional gel cream texture combines the lightness of a gel with the comfort of a cream 
which I do agree, uh, go into extra step for long lasting luminosity. The skin's youthful quality is preserved and extended. So they said the PFA is a polyfractioning of active ingredients, a process specific to Chanel that allows for the creation of ultra pure cosmetic ingredients. So the benefits complete protection to preserve skin's youthfulness. Skin is instantly refreshed, hydrated and luminous, perfectly primed for makeup application, which I do certainly agree. It's really a good base. Active ingredients, a combination of three powerful active ingredients offers complete protection. So it says SPF 50 filters, powerful UV filters protect skin from harmful UV rays, including UVB, UVA, indoor lighting, and provide very high UV protection, even under intense sun. So perfect, especially when it's getting warmer. Life plant PFA, life plant is cultivated in Madagascar and has ad and has adapted itself to grow and live in extreme UV exposure conditions. Life plant PFA protects skin from external stresses with its powerful antioxidant action. Uh, and the desert yeast ex extract, they said it's a gr it regulates the impact of both indoor and outdoor pollution particles. It also stimulates skin's natural defense to reinforce its moisture barrier function and help skin maintain an optimal level of hydration. So decide apply to entire phrase, neck, decollete as the final step of your daily skincare ritual before makeup application. Reapply regular in case of exposure to harmful rays to ensure skin is protected throughout the day. But I don't reapply because I don't have time for that and I, it's weird to reapply for when I already have makeup so I never do that. Probably when I have like a no makeup day or like I'm in the beach no I never put makeup when I will like swim in the ocean or like in the beach so probably I would do that but when I'm just you know in the city working I will not do that I never reapply actually so yeah that's my review of this um, Chanel um, sunscreen I highly recommend it I think I will uh, I did try the Estee Lauder, but I think I prefer this. So maybe I will try some other brands as well that is just also available here. And I might compare them or I might, you know, do an individual review as well. So I hope this was helpful for you. I, if you ask me, I highly recommend it. It's worth the, it, I think it's worth the money. And I know um, that they made this a uh, better, I think this is a better ingredients, better quality kind of sunscreen that... I know I my skin likes my skin really loves it and yeah and it's also a great base for makeup it doesn't interfere or like mess up my makeup and that's what's also important for me and yeah normally I don't never use primer anymore because I don't, I don't have time for it it's like I need to like quick makeup so this is a a good base for me especially uh yeah during like everyday like work days so yeah i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions please do let me know and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me so yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in the next one bye